Hello, my name is Daryl Reed. I'm the fabricator at Ilmore Engineering. And I'm Andy Weinberg with Miller Welders Motorsports. One of the typical jobs we do here at Ilmore Engineering is, is we attach this reluctor wheel to this crankshaft. The reason why is because this is a racing application and this wheel cannot move, altering the timing of the engine. We actually weld it and we pen it. Warning, read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. A couple of things we have to keep in mind with this project is that the crank material is 4340 and the reluctor wheel is a mild steel stamping. We need to select a filler metal that's compatible with both the crankshaft and the reluctor wheel. We will be using an ER80 SD2 filler metal. For this application, we'll be setting the Dynasty 400 on DC and we'll be adding the pulser. Adding the pulser at a high pulses per second will agitate the weld puddle and give us a better grain structure of the weld puddle and the two dissimilar seals. Typically, I'll set this at a high pulse per second anywhere from 250 to 300 pulses per second. The peak time is how much time the welder is at the high amperage of the pulse. And I'm gonna set mine about 55%. The background amperage is the low setting of the pulse. I like to start the machine anywhere from 20 to 35%. In this case, we're at 25. Now that we have the reluctor wheel permanently attached to the crankshaft, this is ready for a final cleaning for final engine assembly. For more information on the Dynasty 400 or how to set your pulser, check out MillerWelds.com.